Let's talk about vaults and Fallout. For those of you unfamiliar with the Fallout games, or familiar with the Fallout games, I don't know, vaults and Fallout are underground bunkers big enough to shelter up to 500 inhabitants in the larger vaults. So they can, they're roughly the size of small towns. The company who makes the shelters, Vault Tech, use the vaults for their own weird experiments, such as science experiments or social experiments for reasons unknown. Vault 76 is in Fallout 76, if you can believe it. This vault was a control vault free of experimentation, one of the few rare ones. The vault opened 25 years after the Great War, and the Overseer left first and helps the players ultimately settle in Appalachia. Vault 13 was the vault from the original Fallout. This vault had a water purification chip that was set to fail by Vault Tech. Uh, I think roughly 120 years after the Great War. So yeah, this kicks off the events of Fallout 1. Vault 75 is from Fallout 3, and this vault was located under a middle school. The history of this vault is super duper dark thanks to Vault Tech. Vault Tech are horrible people. Gary is from Vault 108, also in Fallout 3. The vault's inhabitants are all clones of someone presumably named Gary, who only say Gary, 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 and are super hostile towards non-Garys. Vault 101 is the starting location in Fallout 3. The events of the game are kicked off when the main character's father, James, leaves a sealed vault for unknown reasons. Vault 12 is another vault from the original Fallout game, Fallout 1, and this vault has an intact water chip. The downside is all the inhabitants are glowing ones, which are essentially super buffed radioactive zombies. You know, like you do. Vault 21 is from Fallout New Vegas, which probably is my favorite Fallout game. I love New Vegas. This vault was turned into a fancy hotel and casino by Mr. House, and that's really it. It's fancy. Vault 11 is also from New Vegas. Vault Tech told the inhabitants of this vault that each year they had to vote for an overseer to sacrifice or everyone in the vault would die. They did this for years and the final survivors, there were only like two or three left, they refused to elect an overseer and said, we're not doing it. And nothing happened. It was all a social experiment. Vault A7 is from Fault 3 and Vault Tech used this vault to test the forced evolutionary virus on humans. This virus uh, created all the super mutants in the DC area. Vault 112 is also in Fallout 3. I don't think Fallout 3 had the most vaults, but it sure felt like it. At least the more interesting vaults, I feel. But all the inhabitants of Vault 112 are in suspended animation, stuck in a VR simulation that lasted about a couple hundred years. Vault Zero is from Fallout Tactics. Fallout Tactics was my first Fallout game I ever played. It's considered non-canon, but it's a pretty fun little tactical game. Vault Zero is the in-game location that includes the behemoth pictured here, along with a malfunctioning supercomputer called the Calculator. Vault 22 is in New Vegas. This vault housed a botanical garden, and the inhabitants were infected with a fungus that turned them into homicidal plant monsters. Vault 77 is also from Fallout 3, and this vault only had one inhabitant, the Puppet Man. And this is kind of a cool one. The Puppet Man debuted in a Penny Arcade comic prior to the game's release as kind of a preview of the game. And references to the Puppet Man are actually in Fallout 3. So I think that's all the uh, vault references directly that I could find in Fallout. But um, let me know if I missed any, because sometimes my brain doesn't work. <laughs>